Hey, uh, this is a tutorial in making a Polaroid effect in CorelDRAW X3. So we're going to achieve this kind of effect with three photographs. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to use three photographs. Okay. Uh, say this is from your digital camera. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, make this a uh, Polaroid uh, photos. So the first thing we have to do is we have to uh, decide okay, what would be the size of our picture. So I'm going to make a box here. Okay, let's do that again. So you go to your rectangular tool, click on that, and then make a box. If you want to make it square, hold on control, and you'll get a square picture. I mean, square uh, object. Okay, I'm gonna make it like that. Okay. Okay. Then the next thing I have to do is I'm going to crop it using my uh, power clip. So make sure before doing a power clip, you go to Tools, click on Options, and then you click on Edit, and make sure that this one is unchecked okay remove the check mark the check on the auto center and then click okay okay now we're ready to power clip it but before power clipping it i'm going to make two more squares okay for the other two uh pictures so plus sign on your keyboard that's one and then another one plus sign okay now i'll go back to my first image here so you click on the image or the photograph or a photograph of a digital camera. Then you go to effects, click on power clip, place inside the container, which is the container, the box or the square box that I just did there. Okay, so you got one, one there. Okay, now I'm going to do the second one. Okay, that's really up to me if I want it cropped this way or say I want to make it bigger. Okay, because that square there, that square object there is your object, power clip object. So I click on the photograph, go to effects, power clip, place inside a container, like that one. Okay, and then I'll do this one now. F3 to zoom out, I'll get this one. Okay, I'll zoom in. Uh, okay, let's say I'm going to make it smaller. Okay, that looks good. So go to effects, power clip, place inside a container. Which container? The square. Okay. Now I have three objects now. Okay. Now the next thing I have to do is zoom in here. I'm going to put my border, a Polaroid effect border. So I go this way. And I go that way. Okay. Now to center this, this one, this the photograph with this, the box that I just did. Okay. So click on it. If you can't click, if you can't select it, even though I'm selecting it, you hold on Alter in your keyboard and then click until you get the right object. So that's my first object, which is the photograph, and hold on Shift. And click on the the outer box, and type in C for center. Yeah, okay, that's pretty much centered. Now I'm going to duplicate this one, but before duplicating this, I want you to put a white fill. Okay, that's white fill. Now it's to front of the photograph, so you go to arrange, order, to back of page. Zoom in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to duplicate this plus sign in your keyboard. Okay, move it over here. Plus sign again of your keyboard. Here. Okay. To center it, you click on the photograph and hold on shift. Click on the outer box and type C for, for vertical centering. There. I think it's centered. Click and then type C. Now, if I'm done with that, I would group it by picture. So I'm going to make a crossing window, group that, Control-G, 
or group this one arrange group and this one arrange group okay now I have my photograph okay now it is really up to you which one is your foreground say for example I want this overlap the three pictures first say for example I want this to be the 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 most uh, the picture that's really behind these two objects so I click on that go to arrange order to back of page okay say I'm okay with that uh, that order okay so now we're gonna rotate it just to make it more interesting so I click on the object one time right click another one another time and you'll see this uh, this icon here that's for rotate then you can rotate it okay I'll just put it somewhere there and this one I'm going to rotate it too so click twice and then move it okay and then for this one I'm going to move it here click twice and then move it a little bit okay I'll just move it like that move it higher a bit okay so I have these three objects now so the only thing I have to do is put drop shadow so you choose an object go to your drop sh interactive drop shadow tool and then click and drag it until you see a box okay then you can adjust if you want to make it darker or you want it lighter so it's really up to you okay okay so if you're happy with that you can make that a preset too so you click this add preset and I'll just say Polaroid I'm saving that as a preset and click on save and you notice Polaroid is in here okay so now I'm just gonna click on the object here and I go to my interactive drop shadow and I go to my preset which is Polaroid there click on this one preset Polaroid there you go so now I can achieve now I'm just uh, I'm just done with the tutorial or if you want you can move it around so that's it then you can export this for the web or you can have it printed so do whatever you want to do